Hello, Howard from Main Station, and today I'm going to show you how to put together a ratio engage engine shed. Right, to build this kit, you need to do it on a nice smooth surface and not mum and dad's good kitchen table. So get yourself a nice chopping board or something like that that you, that you can use. In the kit, it comes all nicely packed in a plastic bag like so with your instructions. First thing you need to do is open up your instructions and then your parts and identify each of your parts. Once you have got all your parts out of your container, out of the little plastic bag, you can quickly identify them all. Your side walls, end walls, base plate, roofing tiles, doors and architraves as well as gutters and you'll have a small clear piece of plastic with all your window windows on it. The tools required for this is a good sharp knife, a file, a little ruler and some glue. In this case I'm using super glue. Right. First thing you need to do is with a very sharp craft knife is very gently cut your walls off your sprue and very gently without cutting yourself just clean them up and do it with your knife and just to get it a little bit smoother just run your file right across the bottom and it just gets it all off that way when you set it up it will sit nice and flush on your baseboard with the windows you have a couple of options of tops on your windows which we probably won't be able to see too well but when you get the kit you'll be able to clearly see it now there's some very fine dotted lines running this way you, once you've decided which way up you want your window, you very gently cut across there with your sharp knife. And across the top. And down. the side. And then that one. Now once you've cut it, it should just pop out. And there you have one window to be inserted. First thing to do is to give it a dry run first, just to make sure it is going to fit. And this one has plenty of room. And you very gently lift it back out. And you get a couple of dabs of glue top and bottom, a little bit along the side and you very gently place your window back in centering it very gently with your knife leave that to dry for a couple of seconds. Once you've got all your windows inserted, test fit your corners
you know, to do it on the flat surface, or I find it easier to actually hold it up like so. And in behind, there is two lugs, and on the back of here, there is a long sort of lip that needs to touch the little wee nodules, that'll keep your corner square. So you get some of your glue and very gently run it down the corner like so. And making sure you don't glue yourself to the item. Once you have your four sides all nicely glued together and as square as humanly possible, it is time to fit the roof. Now your roof comes in two halves. It's a slate roof. It's got a little wee cut out in it and that goes at the top. And there's also a couple of little wee knobs at either end and they sit on the insides of the wall. Like so. All right. Uh, once you have glued on your roof, the next step is to glue in the little wee smoke ventil and vent system on the top of the roof. The parts you require are the little wee greyish coloured piece, the other two long black pieces, these two small green pieces and these long green pieces. Okay, to glue these together you very delicately, and that's probably hard to see, but there is a little wee notch in that end there that matches up with that and you get your glue on your brush and brush it straight down the inside like that hold it for a few seconds voila one section glued okay once you have these four sections glued together you can glue on your roof sections. Okay, once you have glued on your roof sections, you can now slide it into your roof slot like so and glue in place. Once your roof section is glued into place, you can add your three pieces of ridge capping. Now the long one goes up on top of there, oops, and the two short ones go at either end. Now that you have your ridge capping on, you can put on your eave covers. There's two large and two small. Large one goes on there and the smaller one goes on the top. Okay, now that you have this all glued together, the next task are your doors. Now you have four doors, two at the front and two at the rear of the building. And each of them I've got a little wee door inside of the larger door. All you have to decide is whether you want them open or closed before you glue them on. Okay, once you have decided whether you can have your doors open or closed, there's just a small matter of, in this case I'm having mine open, so I'll be gluing mine in 
and in the open position like so two doors. Okay, also in this kit you have the option of using the base that comes with it. It slides down over your track, which I've already got pre-nailed to a board. These sit in the middle of the track, like so. And then you put your engine shed over the top like so or you can use it without the base also. Right. Now that you have built this kit straight from the box, once you've painted it and weathered it up and actually put it onto your layout, it'll look very much it can look very much like this picture here. That little wee light there also comes in the kit as well as a little bit of guttering for along the sides. At the beginning of this video you saw me starting out with Sally's Quick Fix Super Glue. There are other two other glues you can use. The Tamiya Brush On Cement, which is ideal if you have young children helping you build it. And also the Humbrol Poly Cement. For this kit I have actually used both the Sally Super Quick and the Tamiya cement. Thank you for watching. For the prices on this and over 3,000 other products, as well as our contact details, please go to our website mainstation.co.nz.